This is a 2020 Mercedes-Benz GLE 350 4Matic. Today we're working with our friends here at Sears Imported Autos in beautiful Minnetonka, Minnesota. Hey folks, I'm Rob. And I'm Nathan. And we are Two, Two Guys, Guys in a Ride. Ride. And Nathan, tell the folks what we got here today. Oh, today we have the 2020 Mercedes-Benz GLE 350 format. Exactly. Say, and if you want to keep up to date with all the new cars, trucks, and SUVs out there, and you like cool collector car stories, take a moment, hit that subscribe button down below, and ring that bell notification so you never miss a video. So what do you say, Nathan? Let's go for a ride. All right. All right, so welcome to the uh, infotainment and driver's information video. And so <laughs> we're gonna delve into this a little bit here. This, this is just an incredible system. So to start with, you can see on the top of the steering wheel, on the left and the right, there are identical buttons. A home, a sort of a black button, and then a back arrow. And they're identical on both sides. This side controls the driver's information screen. This side controls the infotainment screen. However, you can also control the infotainment screen from this mouse pad down here, or Mercedes has made this one touch screen. So, oops, I said Mercedes and it, it picked up on me. Okay, so uh, we're gonna start with the driver's information center. And what you need to know is that this button here is a mouse. So you swipe across, you can also push to access things, but basically it's a swipe. So to access information on the driver's information center, start by pushing the home key. Okay, this brings up all of your things. So you've got, uh, I'm gonna go to the beginning here. You've got assistance, phone, navigation, trip, radio, media, uh, designs and display, and then service. Okay, so I'm gonna go, we're just gonna go through these. So we'll go to assistance and I'll click this little mouse button. And then you notice in the screen here, I've got a picture of a car and some distance. This car will measure how far you are from another car and just just keep you aware. Um, you also notice that when I move my mouse button, I've got some little dots up here. So I got three dots, which means I have, well, I guess I have two dots. Okay, so this one is full screen display. So if I click on this, now that little display you had a minute ago becomes a full display. So it's just easier to see. And it always keeps the main stuff on the top of the, uh, on the front. So you've got miles per hour, your time, your outdoor temperature, your fuel and your engine uh, temperature, as well as your gears selector. So all that stuff always stays. To get out of something, just press the back button. So I'm gonna press back once. Okay, and I'm gonna press back one more time. And then that was what you have for assistance. Now, head up display comes up almost any time you're on any icon. And to get to the heads up display, you simply swipe up and then click. Now your mouse button works just like it did on this screen, except for it works on it on the uh, heads up display, which, which is, uh, I showed you in the interior review, but that's very configurable. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna go backwards again. Go backwards again. And now I'm gonna go over to phone. Now I don't have a phone hooked up, but if I did, this is where I would would uh, see that information. Okay, back button again. Navigation. Now this one has some really neat uh, features here. So I, I can set a destination and it will show up here um, in this screen area if I want, okay? Or I can go to a full screen display and I get this, which is, I think is just really awesome. 
Okay? And again, to get out of that, you just press your back button, uh, press it again, and I'm back to navigation. Okay, I can go over here to trip, and if I click on trip, I've got several buttons showing up, so I know I've got several things, and basically you just scroll through, excuse me, you scroll through them with the mouse, so you it'll change what you see in the center screen. And then, of course, you can make this also a full screen display, <laughs> which I, I just think is neat. So almost any app you go into, you can make it full screen. All right, let's go back again. Let's go over to radio, click on here. Okay, so radio here, you can just scroll through different stations, different presets right here. Okay, and then if I press the mouse button again, I can switch my bands. Okay, so if I want uh, satellite radio, which this, this does come with, let's turn the volume down a minute. Okay, and again, I can scroll through those. Okay, now I'm going to press the home key again. And I'm going to go over to media. Okay, now so I had my phone plugged in through Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, then or Bluetooth, then that would show up here, and I can see that information. So I press the back button again, go over to designs and display. Now this is actually going to change uh, the whole dash here. So you've got classic. Okay, so that's the classic view. If I scroll down, I can hit sport view. Okay. And that changes to that, which I think is nice. I love the ghost symbols on the RPM. And I think that's just really neat. It changes the colors of everything, even your engine temperature and gas gauge change color. All right, so let's go back. We'll go to progressive. Okay, that changes it yet again. Okay, and then we'll go back and we'll go to the very last one here, which is understated. So if you're like, don't want to look at any technology, you just want the basic stuff, this is a great one to use. Basically blanks out your whole screen except for a clock and a speedometer. <laughs> I love that. Okay, now let me go back here a minute. So, let's say that you select uh, classic. It's, you know, it's a nice, it's a nice view. If you swipe over one, you see the speedometer highlight. You see how the little dots that show up here. You can now alter that. Rob, you were wondering about that earlier. So here I go. Here's all the different things I can have in place of a speedometer. And I'm just going to go back to speedometer for a minute. I'm going to scroll to the right. I'm going to scroll to the right again. Now the RPM gauge lights up, and I start scrolling downwards, and here's all the things that I can see in that area. So I just so many ways to customize this. And again, it's so simple. The you know It's a back button, a home button, and then a mouse. And the mouse works like a computer mouse does. So it's... it's um, this is so easy to use. All right, I am going to scroll over here and leave this on a speedometer setting. All right, there we go. Okay, let's move over for a minute to the infotainment screen. Now, you're going to notice that as soon as I bring my hand up, it starts to highlight things. That's actually a sensor coming off the mirror. And there, there you know, I can't push anything in the air, nothing happens, but it does. Uh, highlight so when my hand moves over here it's like oh I think you're gonna push this button the one interesting thing I really like is if it's dark out and you reach your hand across it'll actually turn on the passenger see turn on the passenger lamp because it thinks I'm reaching over here which I think is really nice okay there are I said this is a touch screen so everything I'm gonna do you can do in a touch screen I'm gonna use a mouse just because it's easier <laughs> So, basically, if you look at the top of the menu, the home is highlighted in blue. Okay, so this is your top screen. You can create up to five different profiles as a driver uh, for yourself. You can search for different things, and then you can go to um, a notification area. 
Okay, the next thing down, of course, is all your main icons. So you got, here's, you know, you got navigation, phone, um, you've got, okay, there we start. Phone, navigation, radio, media, um, comfort in the car, inf information, the Mercedes, me, and apps, and then settings, okay? If I go down one more level, do you see those little short icons that are underneath everything? They're like shortcuts to main features used under this icon. Uh, so if you want to start something, you can just like, man, or media, I don't have a phone connected, but I could, let's use radio because that'll be a better example. So here's radio. I don't want to go into the whole radio app. I just want to hit play. And I do that and it starts to play right away. And I don't have to go into the entire app. If you want to go into the entire app, then you go up here and click on it and then it takes you right in. Look at this cool interface here. Doesn't this remind you of smartphones? Okay, I absolutely love that. Okay, and then of course you have other features under here that you can you can search for a station, that kind of stuff. Um, I'm gonna press the back button here. Let's go to navigation for a minute. Oops, there we go. I absolutely love this screen. Um, one of the things that I like about it, it, it does have 3D. Now we don't really happen to be anywhere there's any buildings, but there we go. I can pinch it and zoom it. Okay, so I think if I if I really zoom in here, you just did it. You rotated. There. The now when you're way zoomed in, you can uh, rotate the whole screen. Okay, bring it up uh, and down. Okay, which which I think is just really 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 neat. Okay, an amazing little navigation screen. I love the clouds above. I think that is just a neat graphic added thing. Uh, but I but I really like that. Okay, um, so let's go back. And you saw radio uh, comfort. So let's go into comfort and see what's there. Well, here's where you can change your ambient lighting. So you got seat comfort, that's one thing. And then you've got ambient lighting. So the ambient lighting here, if we click on this, we can go down to color, click on that. And then I can either turn on multicolor, and then I can just go down here and select uh, the, the preset multicolor. Or I can turn that off. And all I did was move my swipe my mouse over and clicked again. Now I've got my individual colors I can select. And you can see them changing in the car. Right there. Okay, and then you have also um, uh, a welcome effect that you can turn on. All right, let's go backwards here. We've got the brightness we can change. Okay, and that again, uh, if I just swipe over, if I click on one of those, I can move it up or down. Same thing on this one. Just click on it, moves it, click again to let it go. Just awesome. Okay, let's go back again because we had one other area here and that was seat comfort. So, seat kinetics. Now this has an interesting, I don't know if you call it a massage. Because uh, massage is usually needing this. This actually moves the electric power parts of your seat. Um, so if I go into seat kinetics, you can kind of see here. So it's gonna it's gonna maybe raise and lower my driver's seat a little bit, push it forward, push it backwards, bolster it a little bit. Um, but it's not a massage thing. It, it, it's a, it's a different kind of thing. You can set uh, heating balance, <laughs> which. I, I just, I, I love all these little things here. Okay, so let me go back here. Okay, so if I want the seat, the, the heat to be more up there, you can see it changing as I, as I scroll down. So how high do I want that heat to go up? And then I can swipe over and do the passenger as well. Whoops, right there. And all you gotta do on those, on those uh, buttons is just, once you get to them, just click on them. Okay. So uh, let's go backwards here. Info, info. So let's click on here. So we got a lot of things under here. Let's go back to vehicle. Here we go. So here you you can see different things like uh, your acceleration, your brakes. Um, this is the degree I think of incline that you're on. Um, now you want to see a bigger picture of this? You can go ahead and, and click on that button down there, and you get to that. Okay, if I want to go to engine, 
I can now see um, a different bunch of different things here. Um, looks like I've got uh, horsepower here. I've got battery voltage, charge air pressure, engine torque, uh, volts. I mean, PSI. It's just loaded with information here. Okay. And then I'll go over to consumption if I want to look at that. Okay. And you can you can change the time gap here if you want and see what your fuel consumption is. And then of course you have your operator's manual and I won't get into that, but you can look at it right on your car's infotainment screen. All right, Mercedes and me app, I, I, um, I can't really use because it's not uh, set up yet, but basically this is the phone app where you can um, unlock, lock your car, remote start, trace the car uh, if it's moving, uh, see where it's located, okay? Um, settings here. We've got uh, we got ambient lighting, so this is another place to access ambient lighting. Exterior lighting delay. These are your uh, would be your puddle lamps, and your tail lights and your front lights here. Uh, interior lighting delay. Daytime running lights on or off. Locator lighting. So when you you know hit your remote, you can see it. Okay. Then if I swipe over here and go to the 360 view. <laughs> As I spin around the car, it'll show me different little things. And if I go, okay, I want to know what that is, and I click on it, now it brings up information. So camera and parking, if I want to know about that, I just click on it. Okay? Um, it, it's just got so many ways you can use this technology. It's active brake assist. You want early, medium, late, or off. Okay? So... I just absolutely love that. So let's go up to vehicle. Okay, so here's here you have your dynamic select, so you can indi individually configure everything. So your drive, you can select from eco, comfort, or sport. So I'll do comfort, and then I'll go to the back button, and then I'll do steering. I want steering to be, yeah, let's make it comfort as well. And then let's do uh, set the ESP here to comfort. Okay, and uh, let's go back, and I'm all set up. Okay, and again, I can spin the car in the 360, and it's that kind of that same uh, picture we had before, but if I want to display, do something with it, I can look at designs and displays, click on here, okay. Um, it's just, I tell you what, there are so many ways to, to configure this thing. It's unreal. But basically, this gives you a shortcut. It's like a map. Um, that's maybe a good way to think of it. So you click on here. Um, we go to Quick Access. Okay. And you just go to the 360. And now you just spin around. And wherever, wherever the dot is, that will bring up all the information the car has on those systems. Um, so just to like I don't know where, I don't know what it's called, but it's located right here. And then you can find it and click on it, and away you go. Okay, so let's go back to home for a minute. You notice it says themes under here. So if I scroll down in the mouse, I get to themes, and these are fun. So here's adventure. You notice when I press this, it'll change the dashboard too. So right now I got a different display in my speedometer area. Okay. Right? If I go back here, oops, and then of course there's, you have all these things, vehicle engine consumption, operators manual are showing up up there. I want to go back to another theme, I want to go to just a trip. Okay, now change it again. So it would have, assuming you're on a trip, it's going to put up the map and it's going to give you your classic gauges. Right, let's go over here to experience. Right? So, um, when you change those themes, it changes your dashboard. And there, I won't go through all of them because of time here, but uh, it's it's just really neat. Um, absolutely love how this whole thing works. Okay, so really, um, I got about two more things to show you, and that is, if I scroll down further, you do have some favorites. And your favorite button's also located on your steering wheel button. Okay, so if you want to quick get to things, you can do that. And then you can also um, set a different order for 
uh, things to appear in case you don't use operator's manual. You use uh, something else, the, the, the display or something. You can rearrange that order. Okay, and, and uh, you know, basically that's it for the drivers, uh, for the infotainment screen. The only other thing I'll say is we didn't talk about climate, but we did a little bit in the, uh, in the interior review. But if you press the menu button, here's your, all your climate stuff here. And you can easily set your temperatures here. Um, there is a sync button up here, but they do have a sync, sync button, button built right in, a physical one, which is nice. Okay, and then you can increase your fan speed, you can change the mode, and so on. Okay, so really, really just well thought out, really uh, interactive, really nice system to use. And the best part about it, it's really intuitive. If you've used a computer mouse, well, there's a mouse. And there's a mouse. I, I, I would say it's like a trackpad. Because a mouse, you generally have to move. Trackpad, you just swipe your fingers across. So basically, you got three trackpads. Um, what I, don't, I absolutely love it. So I hope you've enjoyed this little uh, in-depth video of the Driver's Information Center and the infotainment system on Mercedes-Benz new 2020 MBUX uh, GLE 350.